Hello, and welcome to Alona Beach on the island of Peng Lao. And this is a very, very popular tourist destination, and it is crowded. And I'm gonna take you down to the seashore for the sunset. Check out all the activity. But first, we need to get across this street. Alona Beach is a very popular party beach. Chris Braun, hello! Very popular party beach. It's a strip, which is bars, restaurants. Um, here on the mainland, mainland section, inland section, same thing. Bars, restaurants, uh, discos. I mean, this place can go late into the evening. Hi, guys. How are you? See, we're starting to get some bars. There's a lot of outside type of bars and things like that. A lot of people, everyone's friendly and smiley. And uh, it's a huge, huge expat community here. Um, UK, Australia, the US, and everyone's kind of setting up for dinner now. And the options seafood wise are incredible. A ton of expats living here with uh, Filipino brides, Filipino brides, and uh, a lot of Korean tourists. Also, a ton of Korean tourists. And here you have all these beautiful ladies offering massage services, outdoor bars, pizza, pasta, burger. We're about to hit the beach. And here you go. We can see the beach. Lots of boats, lots of people, everyone getting ready for the sunset. Now it's a dirt path. A lot of dirt floored bars, a lot of dining outside. Got some young ladies dancing over here. Yeah, people asking for money. Here's a here's a great example of the different tours. There's different island hopping tours, diving tours. There's Python Sanctuary. Oh, there's a Lobok River cruise, and I stayed on the Lobok River last night in a eco an eco hut, and it was pretty cool. But let's continue to go check out this beach scene. Now we have more dinner options being set out. Different types of meats. Pork, chicken, chorizo, pork belly. We have some very colorful fish, squid. It all looks delicious. Hello. Hello. It's a very typical beach, beach party scene, beach bar scene, beach scene. Typical of what you'll see anywhere in the world. It's a very popular destination here in the Philippines. We have hotels, outdoor dining. We're gonna have some live music here later, obviously. There's live music all over this town. And there you can see a bunch of expats sitting in the bar. They've probably been there for hours, enjoying, enjoying the beach scene. And uh, very nice. Very, very nice. We got all types of seafood over here that looks incredible. We have squid and scallops and beautiful lobsters and snapper. Giant, giant shrimp. Like, look at the scale, the size of these shrimp. Potatoes, chicken. 
We have these weird hot dogs with wrappers on them and fish balls and some type of ribs, potatoes, eggplant, corn. It all looks so delicious. Let's head on down to the beach. And you can see here behind me, the sun is starting to set. It's perfect lighting. Everyone's getting their selfies, getting their cameras set up, getting ready for their social media posts of them here in Aluna Beach. Ah, Balut. Have some Korean women setting up their tripod, getting ready for some action. Taking their photos. Other women enjoying a nice beer. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Got some Korean dudes getting their photos. How you doing, man? We have people still swimming in the water, throwing rocks at me, <laughs> giggling. It's a very festive atmosphere here in the Luna Beach. Even the little ones are having fun. Everyone's joining in. Hello. We don't want to disturb their TikTok. The blue guy doesn't care. Let's work our way back up to this main entrance and you can see some of the gift shops. And you'll see it's pretty much, like I said before, it's similar to any little beach walk, little beach party area, anywhere you'll find in the world. Some strange, strange looking fruits. I have no idea what that is. Selling it by the kilo. You have your dream catchers. Your tattoos, bracelets. Back here, you can see the photo of Wang Odd on the tattoo. And I was in her village a couple weeks ago. And uh, yeah, be sure to check that video out. I got a batik tattoo. Lots of grilling happening, lots of alcohol being served. Lots of meats ready to grill. People already sitting down for their dinner. This guy has built a massive sandcastle. You can get your picture taken next to it for a small fee. Here we have a Luna Beach Lounge. It's a very, very popular expat bar. There's a ton of bar girls that work here. Tons of beach specials. Happy hour, 12 to 6 p.m. every day. Happy hour, I'll be back. I love a good happy hour. See you. And we have more food options over here. We've got clams, 
My shrimp, little baby squid. It all looks so good. I'm gonna get a tattoo right here. You can get a hand poke. A batuk tattoo. You can get your head tattooed. You can get a crazy neck tattoo like this guy. I don't even think that could be real, but who knows? Let's continue. <laughs> Very friendly. They're getting their jump shot. <laughs> Just a very fun, festive atmosphere. And it goes all night. There's a lot of restaurants and a lot of bars that are 24 hours. So no matter what, what time of day, what time of night, you can always find something to do here. And the sun continues to set. The sky is looking brilliant. And actually, right now is when the sun should be dipping below the horizon. Kids still playing as the sun sets below the horizon, undeterred by darkness creeping in. And in this direction, we have a very large, very nice looking resort. Chris Tina's. Well, that's the name of the restaurant in the resort. What resort that is, I have no clue. Looks nice. There's a pool. There's a lounge section. People comfortably watching the sunset, avoiding the sand. And after that, we have another resort, Beachfront. And the prices are very reasonable. I'm in a room on the main road or right off the main road and it's a uh, comfortable AC, outdoor sitting area, indoor desk, full-size bed and I'm paying 33 US dollars a night to be in this beach, beach community party town. You can see the pinks in the sky. That's all very, very beautiful. The coconut palms lurching out over the sand. Let's head back and go grab a beer. Nice, nice place to just chill and watch the sunset.
And what better way to get watch the sunset, enjoy the evening, than to get your toes done on the beach. And here we have a lot of masseuse women in their blue uniforms. The lights are coming on. And the party is about to begin. Dinner, party. Massive lobster, and veggie skewers, a seaweed salad, which does not taste like the seaweed salad back home. A massage, no thank you. And here you can see a bunch of people getting massages right here on the beach. It's relaxing. It's a henna tattoo, maybe. Another sand castle. This one all lit up. Uh, for sports fishing trips here. Come to Peng Lao, head out. Catch of a lifetime. How you doing? We have a row of bars going back into this alley off the beach. More food, more lobsters. Hello, sir. Dif hello, different species of lobsters and oysters, I believe. Looks delicious. Hello. seen pretty much both ends. There's not a lot to it, but there's a, a lot going on in this little compact area here. We got some kids. He looks like he's going backflip. That was impressive. And here, I'm going to go on in and join my, my fellow old, old Western guy brethren and enjoy a nice, delicious beer. I will have a red horse, please. And there you have it. A, a Luna Beach in Peng Lao, on the island of Peng Lao. It's a fun time. Cheers. <laughs>